When I started the novel The King's Curse, I thought I was going to write a fictional biography of Margaret Pole, Countess of Salisbury, one of the Plantagenets, one of the House of York, and her life as she came to be ruled by the new house, Henry Tudor, Henry VIII. What I found, though, was I started to write a novel about all her family, about the rebellions, about the rise of the whole country against the tyranny of Henry VIII, the rise of the king as a tyrant and someone who reformed the religion really against the consent of his country. The pilgrimage of grace in which most of the north of England rose up against him in their thousands, maybe as many as 40,000 people against the king's small army of about 5,000, was a sign that the country was not willing to be a Tudor Protestant kingdom dominated by this despot. And one of the things that brought that about was not just Henry VIII's reform, but also the terrible deterioration in his own character. As I came to research the novel, it seemed to be more and more that what I was un unveiling was the fact that the king went mad.